Welcome to Through Trinity Walks. I'm your host, Rob. And today we're going to be in the historic center of Rome, but in particular, we're going to be covering the neighborhood around Palazzo Farnese and Campo dei Fiori. Let's just say it's one of the greatest Renaissance hearts of the city of Rome. So, let's go and see what we can find. The Renaissance Rome district is in the heart of the historical center and rides along the side of the Tiber River. One can get here from tram, bus, taxi, or even walking if you are staying in the centro area of Rome. Remember that Rome is layered and filled with mystery. There are wonderful parks, fantastic fountains, and shopping galore. Time periods, art, and design can be mixed up quite easily. Let's see what we have in store for us today. A great thing about Italy is that it is not jam-packed with retail chains like you can see in many other parts of the world. It is full of wonderful unique shops like on this street right here. A real goal is to get to the wonderful fresh food market in Campo dei Fiori before 1 p.m. right here where we can really do as the Romans do, shop and eat and drink. The Campo dei Fiori market is the poshest market in the city and really geared towards visitors looking to buy something extra special for a loved one at home. Imagine though that most neighborhoods in Italy have a fresh food market. Here's the famous Giordano Bruno who was actually burned at the stake in this spot. We'll find out why a little bit later. One can come for a glass of some wonderful wine here at most times of the day. What's the answer to having a great stay in Rome? Location, location, location. Did you know that you can buy some magnificent 25-year-old balsamic vinegar from Modena here? Serve it with some fresh strawberries for an outstanding dessert. A monk once vowed that if he became Pope, he would build a bridge that would get him to the Vatican much more quickly, and that is what he did. Are we actually walking down a straight street in the neighborhood? And streets seem normally to have twists and turns like a maze? It most certainly is, and we can thank the famous Renaissance Pope Julius II for taking care of that for us, hence the name Via Giulia. Hodie mihi, cras tibi. Today for me, tomorrow for you. The angel of death reminds us all of the inevitable so creepy. This is an example of one of these churches that was dedicated to giving proper burials to the poor. It is so surreal when you see a building which has been completely restored and then two steps away you run into a church that has not been cleaned in over 100 years, which has its own mysterious beauty. The Madonnina will protect you and light your way as you walk alone at night. Never be afraid to walk through a hidden archway while strolling in the city. You never know what you may find. Enter a Renaissance palace courtyard for a moment of beauty and peace. All right, so just to know that we're at this area right here, but the darkened area is what ancient Rome looked like. This was the portico of the theater of Pompey in front of it. It was here where Caesar was assassinated. And I'm gonna directly point it out to you in a few minutes. All right, everybody, so it may not look a lot, but more or less right here, underground, there would have been the portico of Pompey connected to his theater. So this is where the Senate met. So we can assume that somewhere around here is where Julius Caesar was assassinated. And he said his famous last words, and to and even you, And see. Now, Let's take a closer look at the theater of Poppy.
Looking at the map, you can see where the ancient theater was and notice the curve of the building built directly on top of the ruins of the theater. Let's now have a quick look at some of the Renaissance masterpieces of the city, a style that was known for its rational balance and harmony. Would you believe that a cardinal won this palace because of a game of dice? To finish where we started, the beautiful Piazza and Palazzo Farnese. Poor Giordano Bruno was executed here for teaching revolutionary theories such as life existing on other planets. So that is a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me in this walk in the historic center of what we'd call Renaissance Rome. We're here at Campo dei Fiori having a lovely drink under the shadow of Giordano Bruno. So here is a toast to his life. Thanks so much for Through Eternity Tours and thank you guys. And if you like this video, please sign up and join us and you'll be notified every time we have a new video coming out. Ciao. Hello my friends, I am your host Rob Allen and welcome to True Eternity Walks. And you look marvelous. How's that? Garbage. <laughs> you were laughing. <laughs>